Shinzo Abe has been re-elected as head of Japan's ruling Liberal Democratic Party and it was a landslide. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So Adam, what does this mean for Japanese politics? Well, Mark, it paves the way for Abe to serve up to three more years as Japan's Prime Minister. That means he would be the longest serving Premier in the country's modern history. The victory also emboldens Abe to pursue his long sought revision to Japan's pacifist constitution. While I aim to finally settle Japan's post war diplomacy, I hope Japan becomes a peaceful and stable nation. And further beyond that, I wish to work together with you all in order to finally revise Japan's constitutions. Abe has been pushing to amend Article 9 to explicitly recognize the, exist the existence of Japan's self-defense force, a proposal that has faced strong opposition from Abe's political rivals and most of the public. If a revision is voted down in a national referendum, the prime minister would most likely have to step down. Meanwhile, on North Korea, he said it is now his turn to meet leader Kim Jong-un. Additionally, with the cooperation of the international community, I think that next is my turn to face leader Kim Jong-un to solve the issues related to North Korea, such as nuclear, missiles and, most importantly, abductions.